All new at 6 tonight, some drivers raising safety concerns about their communities over the South Grand Island bridges. In fact, one 7 News viewer sent us a message telling us that the power has been out there for days. He's not only worried about cars, but aircraft as well. So we sent a crew to check out the bridges overnight. Look at this. You can see just how dark the area is. After hearing these concerns from Grand Island drivers, 7 News reporter Krista Moran tracked down a timeline from the Thruway Authority to try and get that power back on. If you live on Grand Island or take this bridge in the evening, you probably have noticed at night the bridge looks like this. It's lights out on the South Grand Island Bridge. It's been very dark. You have to use your brights. Maureen Leffler has lived on the island for 30 years. Have you ever so seen the lights out like this for a long time? No, no, not since they hit. No. I don't think ever for that long. Like many Islanders, she uses the bridge every day and says this is a big issue. I have heard a couple of people talk about it. My daughter and I were talking about it the other day because we were driving over it together and she's like, Mom, when do you think these lights are going to come back on? She said that, you know, it's it's uh, they've been out for a while. The darkness at night is what Lori Schreiber has noticed too. My concern is like older people or people that have, you know, problems driving at night or vision issues. It's a concern for them. So I took these questions to the state thruway authority. They tell me the original 60 year old transformer that lights the bridge was damaged during the blizzard. A new one was ordered and it should be installed in the coming weeks. The FAA and the Coast Guard are aware of this outage. We would love to see them back on. Yeah, how long that's going to be. That's a question for the ages, I guess. We'll just have to wait and see. Many are hopeful the lights will shine bright once again. We hope they come back on soon because we don't want to see any accidents or anything happen. But others remain cautiously optimistic. I'm hopeful, but it's New York State, so, you know, um, it might be a year or two. You never know. I did reach out to the Grand Island Town Supervisor John Whitney about this issue. He didn't want to comment. Krista Moran, 7 News, Grand Island.